I wanted to show you a birdhouse that I made out of uh, found objects. And uh, some of these I've uh, I found while metal detecting. Metal detecting is one of my hobbies. I love to do that. And uh, now and then I find some stuff that I can use on my birdhouses. Uh, I'm, I make a lot of folk art birdhouses, but this one is made from found objects. I just want to show it to you and explain some of the things that I do here. Uh, this this piece of um, this deer horn here, deer antler, I found it in the woods as I was walking through the woods. So it is indeed a found object. This nut here, or this bolt, is um, basically something I dug up while metal detecting. It was uh, it had a lot uh, a really high iron sound, but it was kind of like in the um, in the brass range also. But I, I like it. Cleaned it up really good. It's got a hex head on it. Uh, these uh, these are old upholstery tacks that I put there. And this is uh, the thing I love most about this birdhouse is this particular one has uh, this door knob frame on it, this door knob uh, hardware. This is where the knob went and that's the keyhole. You can see that I turned it upside down to make it fit right on the birdhouse. And uh, this is not a found object. I bought that, but I found it on sale, so I consider it a found object. The wood is cedar, cedar. And this cedar comes from um, my sister's property in Pamlico County, North Carolina. She and her husband, John, cut that down several years ago and they gave me some of it generously and it is as a beautiful beautiful cedar red cedar and also this piece of pine for the flooring uh, also came from their uh, from their property and i appreciate that this is old barn tin which is very common thing that i use in my birdhouses and on each one let me see if i can turn this around on each one of my birdhouses isn't that beautiful cedar? That's just wonderful. And all I did was sand it and just put a really thin coat of polyethylene, uh, satin polyethylene on it. It looks really nice. Each one of my birdhouses, I'll put a cross and my initials and the date. And I put that cross uh, to tell others, to remind myself and to tell others of where my my uh, source of strength and, and um, creativity comes from, from God alone and from his son Jesus Christ, who is my savior. And I always try to make that message clear on all my birdhouses and all the projects that I do. So there you go. That's an example of one of my folk art birdhouses using uh, things that I found while metal detecting. I got this, by the way, metal detecting in front of an old dam where I used to fish as a boy. And uh, you know, it's amazing that it was washed up on the shores of that little creek uh, in front of that dam. I, 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 don't, I can't imagine how it got there, but it turned out to be pretty nice. And so that's my birdhouse using uh, found objects found by metal detecting and other means. Hope you enjoyed it. God bless all of you.